Hey guys, we're Zoe and Max, and in this week's video, we're going to a homestead that has been in the works for 30 years. This is a great opportunity to see what 30 years of innovation, gardening, work, home building, all that gets you. So we learned a lot in this video, and we can't wait to share it with you. Mm -hmm. If you guys want to support us, just watch the whole video. That helps us the most. Without further ado, Let's hop into the tour. Let's jump on in. So we've just arrived at Annalie and Victor's. We'll be staying here for two days and showing you guys around the property. I have known Annalie and Victor ever since I popped out of the womb. My mom actually used to live really close to them. They've graciously let us stay here for the next few days and I can't wait to show you guys around. So let's get to the tour. So firstly, we have this gate. This is what you first see when you come to their property. Their whole property is fenced in and they do that so that they can compost in all their flower beds and not have to worry about bears, which I thought was really cool. The first thing that you see on the property is Annalie's art studio. Annalie is an amazing artist. She's even painted me before. Everything she owns really reflects her personality and I love that about their house. Welcome to the art studio. You have to take your shoes off before you come in. Unfortunately, Annalie's old art studio actually burned down last year, so this is a new rebuilt studio. I love the lighting in here and the high ceilings. It's so beautiful. I know that this is the art studio, but honestly, this whole property feels like an art studio because I can see how it really feeds Annalie's creativity and how all these different areas really inspire her. Right beside Annalie's art studio are all these beautiful apple trees. They look so yummy and I can't wait to eat one. There are so many apples. There's so many. Look at all these apples on the ground. Oh, I'm stepping on one. <laughs> so now just moving past the apple trees is their garden. They grow so many things here like peas, lettuce, tomatoes, garlic, there's more, but I forget the list. Everything. There's, there's, there's a lot more. There's there. everything here, and it's so, so yummy. They've shown us at least 15 different types of tomatoes that they grow right here on their property. They have garden beds and greenhouses right behind me that helps them grow food all year round. They also have some plum trees and some pear trees, more fruits to have. And here is their greenhouse. One of them. One of them. This one has all the tomatoes in it, I think. Lots of cherry tomatoes. Lots of cherry tomatoes. Right here is the composting beds that I was talking about. Instead of making compost and then bringing it into their flower beds, they just do it right in the flower beds. So right here we have their tent trailer, which is where guests stay. This is where we stayed. So if you missed last week's episode, you don't know that we got a new car. And I'm really, really excited to have a new car because that means we can go on longer road trips because this vehicle is a lot more fuel efficient, more reliable, and overall a way nicer drive. The van was pretty stressful to drive, so that's why we have decided to opt for a new car. The van was amazing and we miss it so, so much, but this car is definitely gonna be a lot better to get us to weddings, different destinations. We also wanna go to a lot more homesteads and off-grid cabin life, so if you have either of those, hit us up and we will come give a tour of your place. So let us know down in the comments if you have a place where we can stay. Annalie is not only a painter, but she is an avid gardener. Over the 30 years that she's lived here, she has built these amazing flower beds. I think she actually gets a lot of her inspiration from gardening and from plants and flowers. A lot of the paintings that we have in my home are of flowers. And these flower gardens are huge. They just wrap around the whole entire property with all these beautiful flowers. Might I also say, what time of year is it right now? <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's October and it is so hot. Like I am breaking a sweat in this thing. <laughs> and their flowers are still still blooming in October. Still blooming in October. So now we've reached the section of their property where they actually live. So this is their home and they have two bedrooms, I think, a bathroom. Throughout our stay here, you might see us do some cooking in their kitchen. Annalie has a very cool kitchen. I've always loved it since I was a kid. It's very eclectic, so you guys will have to see it. Now we are at their shed and they keep all their firewood here for the winter time. There's a lot of firewood in here and any other tools that they might need. Annalie and Victor have decided not to be in this video, but their house is full of all the things that they have collected from their travels. They are world travelers and they actually used to teach in Bahrain. They've been showing us all the things that they've collected over the years and it's been so much fun to hear all their stories from all the different places they've been. They've actually been to a lot of similar places that Max has been, so it's really cool to see the difference in the stories and the similarities, even though they've gone years and years and years apart from each other. I like how their whole house is kind of like a storybook, so every guest that they bring over, they can run them through the house and show them different mm -hmm. artifacts and stuff and share different stories, it's really mm -hmm. nice. And Victor is actually a really good photographer, so they've also been showing us all their photos that they've taken on their adventures which has been really really cool they gave us a pee bucket so max has the task of emptying it don't film this 
<laughs> Where Max is going into right now is their outhouse. And I love it, it's such a cute outhouse. <coughs> the not so glamorous part of uh, living in the woods. They use um, wood chips to keep the outhouse smelling really good and it honestly, it works. Like it smells delicious in there, which sounds weird, but it smells really There's good. There's also a bunch of dried herbs on the ground that also give beautiful smell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not stinky at all. It's not stinky. 10 out of 10 outhouse. Yeah. Right by the outhouse is another tool shed. They have a lot of tools and they need a lot of tools while living out here. So they need a lot of space to store it. We're back at their front gate, but we have one more thing to show you guys. So right by their house is this beautiful creek. They used to get their water from this creek, but they had to change to a well because they found out that the water is actually too warm. Bacteria will start to grow in the water and that's just not very good for you. But I'm pretty sure you can still drink it. Should I try some? Sure. Mmm, it tastes really good. Just starts vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've been awake for a little. We did some editing. I did some editing of my BAMF photos. So here are some photos from BAMF. But we think we've heard some turkeys. I also have a big loaf of sourdough bread, freshly made from the grocery store we went to yesterday. Good morning. Good morning. Their gardens are super beautiful, but these doggos don't stop barking at us. They're We're friendly. They're very protective of their land. <laughs> yeah. They don't want any bears and stuff here. Oh, there are the turkeys. <gasps> oh. We're making some tomato garlic toast. She said there's garlic out here somewhere. Oh, over here. These are the tomatoes we'll be using, fresh from their garden. The and some garlic. Mm-mm. So we just finished our garlic tomato toast. Probably stink like right now, mm -hmm. but it tastes so good. It's my favorite breakfast right now. Yeah, my we, favorite. we learned it at the last place that we were at. So if you haven't checked out the last video, go check it out now. Mm -hmm. hey, like We've every, eaten it like every morning every, since those every last morning. videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and I never used to like tomatoes as a kid. And now, look at me go. Now, I think we're gonna start heading up to the waterfall. We have to get mm -hmm. changed. This waterfall that we're gonna see is incredible. Incredible, and I can't wait to show you guys. Mm -hmm. And it's only like a 15 minute walk away. It's so pretty. Let's get ready. All right, so we are now on our way to the waterfall, and what's really cool about this waterfall is that nobody else can come. So if you're thinking about coming here, you're not allowed. Only guests of people who live on this street are allowed to go up it, and obviously the residents too. When was the last time you were here? Uh, last time I was here, I think it was like 2014. Here's some photos from the last time I was here. I was a baby. <laughs> so it's been a really long time. The path that you have to take is not very obvious. So yesterday, Victor, he showed me the way to get here. And now I'm relying on my memory and my navigation skills to get us there safely. Because uh, I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of just forest. At this point, there is actually no trail that we're even following. We're just going through the bush. <laughs> that was a lot better than mine. <laughs> We've made it to the waterfall. It is right behind us. We're gonna hang out, sit down, listen to some music for a little bit, and then take some photos. It's beautiful. And the water is so clean. It's like crystal clear. It's very loud. <laughs> okay, so we just finished at the waterfall. I just about dropped my granola bar. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we just finished at the waterfall, and now we are heading back to Annalie and Victor's for dinner. Annalie is making a surprise dinner, um, so we're gonna go see what it is. These granola bars are great, by the way. <laughs> Good dollar store investment. <laughs> great dollar store investment. Okay, we've made it out of the woods. We managed to find the exit of the trail. Yes, we so, did it. Uh, that's good, because uh, there's a couple points there we were... Uh, <laughs> we got a little lost. A little lost. Now we're heading back to the cabin, and um, I think I'm gonna get ready for some dinner. I 
I think that wraps up our tour. Um, I had a, such an amazing time. Thank you so much, Annalie and Victor, for everything. Yeah, this was amazing. It was so great to see how they deal with the in insane climate out here during mm -hmm. the winter, how they've grown so many gardens over the past 30 years of living here. And you see they've really refined their whole process of how to live out here in the wild, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not completely off-grid because they do have power, but there's no cell service. Mm -hmm. And they, and they have, have their own well. It's, it's interesting to see how they've dealt with things like the bears. Yeah. In the past 30 years, fencing a huge area to keep out grizzly bears, which are like the scary bears too. Rawr. Not just black bears, grizzly <laughs> bears. So this has been an amazing experience. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Mm -hmm. Next week, we're heading off to Banff. Yes, actually we're heading there right now, but we're you'll only there. see yeah. it next week. But yeah, we're super excited to come along on our Banff. Why am I blanking? Journey! <laughs> road <laughs> trip! Road trip! Ah. Our Banff road trip. I'm so tired, guys. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys Bye. next week. Bye! Right bus. Sorry. <laughs> no, <yet>. Hello! <laughs> hey guys, my name is Zoe. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ow, I really just hit my ring on my nose. Ouch.